Okay, this is you videotaping me? Yep. Okay. Here's the uh, tablet, turn it on, hit Stratus. Is there a password for that? There is. What is the password? Password. Capitals? Nope. Okay. So you do the password. P -A -S -S -S. Okay, but is there a password to even get to this screen? Like, no. it, does it lock? No, it does not. No, okay. So now you're getting in here, and I don't know why I keep doing that, just take it off. So we want to go to Rebello because we only have one apartment, so it's Rebello Apartments. Now we we're in Rebello Apartments. Okay. Okay, see there? Yep. If we had more than one, there'd be more than no, on here, but we only have Rebello, so we hit that. Very important. Okay, we are, doing, uh, we are doing a person's apartment, so we do places. You're always going to do places, okay? You can't see this because it's a stupid thing. Is coming up. It's asking us to update the system. But language. Try, it says, did I say, language. Did I say so something stupid. about language? Stupid's not a bad <laughs> word. Stupid ass, that's a bad <laughs> word. Okay, so we're going to building one. This is uh, unit floor number, one. Unit number 124, so it's floor one. Unit number 124. Okay. We want to make keys, but you can't make keys without names. So we have to add a name. And what's the uh, resident's name? Brian. B R Y or B R I? B R Y. Okay. And last name? Ortiz. Ortiz, like it sounds? Yep. Z or S? Z. Okay. What's it? Can you pull this directory number up? So we have Brian Ortiz. Okay, this mobile access, I never touch it. Don't worry about it. That's in case they want to use their mobile phone. Okay. But it's very expensive. So we do next. Now their name is there. Okay. Okay, if you wanted to add more people, you do the same process. Now you have to make a key for each name. Okay. So you press on Brian, and we want to make a key. Make a key at some point. There we go. It's telling you right now that it's going to be 124 and all the common door areas in the pool. In the pool. All right. So we confirm. And we're using reader number 65B. And I have it marked 65B. Perfect. Matching. So we hit that. It's green. We hit confirm. Now it's telling you to place the credential on the card reader. And you wait for three quick, quick beeps. And this has to say that it, it worked. Okay. That's not a good sign. Nope. Okay, so I've been running into the same. This is good that you got this one video. I've been running into the same problem with okay. this box. Okay. Because I found it open, and I think there's maybe some bad ones in there. Okay. So that's a, that's a good thing that happened. It's good to have it on there. I don't know where all these came from, but they were opened. Okay. Some of them were in, some of them aren't. So let's just let's just start again. We'll just do it again. And all you have to do is the same thing. Make a key. Confirm. Okay. That's good. Okay. Credential right is complete. It's not so supposed to be weeks. doing that. Okay. It says it did it, but it's not supposed to be doing that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and say that's done. Usually it goes beep, 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 and right. says that. This time it did slow beep, so I'm not sure what that means. Okay. But we're going to make sure we're going to see if this works. Okay. If it doesn't, that's the process. So do, and, and that's then, it? That's it. Now all you have to do is go back to home. If you want to do a second person, you click on the second person's name, go through the same process. Okay. Um, while you're in here, if you want to see if so somebody says, hey, I, I, I don't have, I was supposed to have two keys. You press their name and you put keys to the door. And you see what's assigned. And it shows you right there which, which doors they have. They have a back door, they have a front door, so they're on the first floor. It tells you how many keys are made up, how many entries. Okay. So. Nice. Thanks. Okay.